So firstly, mate, explain to everybody um, how last season went for you to qualify for Europe today. Well, we did all the hard work before uh, the turn of the year and then we went from Boxing Day till April without a league win. Yep. And then all of a sudden, we're here, we're in the Confidence League, bring it on, Sligo Rovers. And hopefully we're going to have a good a good time tonight and it will mean a stress-free journey to Sligo for me next week. Yeah, so you're off to Ireland next week as well. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. And so next round it would be Sparta, Prague or Viking. That's a bit of a tougher test, isn't it, for my boy? Aye, but I'm not worried about that. Let's if just get, get through this yeah. first. So score prediction in? Uh, we'll go 3-0 to the well. Tonight's opponent, Sligo Rovers, share history with the Steelmen, as exactly seven years previously the sides met in a friendly at the showgrounds where Motherwell won 2-1. In October 2018, Motherwell Colts knocked out the bitter red out of the Iron Brew Cup through an own goal and a zinger from Christian Mbulu. Now a potential glamour tie in the next round is extra incentive for both clubs as the winner will face Sparta... Prague. -y. You mean Prague? Or Viking Stavanger of Norway. And there we have it. We've got our Mecca in the in the background there. Last time we were there, Motherwell qualified for Europe. This time, hopefully, we're going to succeed in it. Right, so we are, of course, joined by the legendary Sam North or Fury Adventures. Wouldn't go that far, thank you very much, Dr. Mate. How are you doing? doing? Good, mate, yourself? I'm absolutely buzzing. European football here at uh, Fair Park. Mate, it's been a long time. This is it's the first game with fans for European football at Fair Park in eight years since Jarnan. We won't talk about that, uh, but what's your prediction tonight? Um, I'm going to go for a 3 0 Mudwell. I think Sligo are mid season right now because yeah. the League of Ireland is currently yeah. on. Um, but I still think Mudwell will be good enough. It'll be a comfortable win tonight and then next week. But I think the next round might be a little tougher. But oh, yeah. confident for Mudwell. But we'll, we'll focus on Sligo first before we dream of Prague. <laughs> or exactly. Stavanger. So we've been joined by Blair McNally. How are you doing, mate? I'm all good. Good to be on. Hey. Mr. Mudwell, go and subscribe to him. He is absolutely incredible with the work he's been doing for the past. <laughs> How many years now? Eight. Down brilliant. So since the last uh, time we had a home game in Europe with fans. But anyway, Blair, what's the score going to be? I'm going to go 2 0 Motherwell. I think it will be comfortable, but yeah. I don't think it'll be too comfortable. They'll make it hard for themselves as Scottish teams always do in Europe. Oh, well, we always do. We're our first competitive game as well, but you never know with us. Aye, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, I'm just pleased to get in there and see the atmosphere. Me too. Let's, that let's that go. match yeah. was incredible. It was so good, wasn't yeah. it? Anyway, let's go, Mon the Well. Mon the Well! Oh, Let's stop it. Where's? Country. Obviously, the past few yeah. seasons with Colvin, you know, they've sort of struggled to get abroad. But McGabby's undersold the header back, and Keena opens the scoring in sumptuous style. Oh my God! Disaster. Bevis McGabby sold the jersey there. Not good, not good at all. Come on. 
Yeah, grab here. Yes. You can only use one foot. Oh, Ricky. Oh. Oh. Come on. A bit more creative here. Oh! Oh! That was a chance. The level before half time. Half time, we are 1 0 down. It is not looking good. I feared that it could be this. But I don't. I, I'm speechless. Like. Obviously, uh, we, we took our time in actually growing into the game as we have done previous games. And I mean, Sligo have been awarded with a goal. I mean, I wouldn't say awarded, we've gifted them the, the goal because Mugabe tried to head it back to Kelly and he like, he, he, he like sliced it with his head, if, if that's even possible. He, he, missed, he misheaded the ball and Aidan Keener, former Hearts, Dunfermline, Falkirk goes and chips Liam Kelly and that, that'll be the biggest goal of his career but um, I, for, well, I wouldn't say we deserve to be losing but we definitely don't deserve to be winning um, we've taken too long to get started and we've paid for it um, but We've had a couple of chances, half chances. Van Veen was through on goal, but decided to square it to Josh Morris, who missed. It he wasn't fast enough to get to the ball. And then uh, right in the stroke of half-time, corner Shields sliced or misfired the ball wide. So there are chances being made, but I don't think we're creative enough in, in the midfield. We've got three midfielders that, apart from Slattery, we don't really have a driving force going forward. We don't have anyone that can actually pick the ball up and drive with it. Um, and that's what we're missing. We're missing a Ross Tierney character in that in that sort of final third to sort of pick the lock of the park bus that we're going to be facing in the second half. But yeah, bring it on. Pitch is looking too good to lose this, this match. But we've seen this a hundred times before. Bring on the second half. Won the win. Second half of it's the kick off. Won the thinking well. Oh! Ah. No. Oh, yeah. He said it's far too long on the ball. Sligo are bringing on a player called Mata. Can he be the same one that plays for Man United? You're no moving quick enough. That was jammy. We were so lucky there. Yes. Oh, he's not offside. He was not offside there. So he's got back.
come on. Bit of urgency here. Got two minutes to go. Oh, nice. Nice. Come on. Come on. Play him. Oh, man. And he got given man of the match. This is unbelievable, mother one. Come on. We're gonna run out of time. Come on. It's going to be full time. I just blew the whistle there. It's fine. Full time, we have an uphill battle in Ireland next week. A 1 0 defeat at Far Park against Sligo Rovers. Usual shite. Anyway, let's get back to the studio. On reflection of Thursday night's almost disaster, I mean, we, we still have a second leg to make up for our mistakes, but as Thursday night goes, I mean, we have been in this position before. Our first game of the season has been a European fixture. And it's not good enough that we are underprepared. We had two bounce games slash friendlies going into this against a team that was 23 games into their league season. The fact that Graham Alexander believes that we were good enough going into the fixture and fit enough, well I don't know if he thought we were fit enough but we certainly have a lot to build on in, in terms of fitness and quality in the squad because we've only made three signings and to, to have the squad that we had last season we've lost some of our better players from last season as well and we've not replaced them that is why we lost on Thursday it wasn't because of just a Bevis Mugabe undersold header. I mean that was one mistake of many that was made on Thursday night and a lot of the mistakes were made before the draw was even made for Sligo Rovers. We had a lot more time to prepare for this fixture than Sligo did uh, because they of course had Balatown to negotiate past before we ended up playing against them and to s I'm not embarrassed yet. I mean if we get knocked out next week I will be covering my blushes but you know, there's such an incentive for, to go to the next round. I mean, Sparta, Prague or Viking, I mean, of course, in the coefficient they are much higher ranked than Sligo Rovers and we have to negotiate past Sligo first. But for God's sake, Motherwell, Thursday night was a shocking display. I mean, the fans turned up, the club asked the fans to come up in their numbers and we did. We sold 7,227 tickets and to, to just have that display... It was absolutely appalling. Josh Morris was the most infuriating player I've seen in a while. I mean, he, he took about five years before he even picked a cross. Uh, going forward, we had no one to drive the ball forward. Uh, Kevin Van Veen looked really unfit, and I think he was uh, under pain relief. Um, and, I mean, defensively, I mean, we didn't have too much to worry about. We had a few scares in the first 20, 30, 30 minutes. But that was always going to happen against a team that was match fit. We had to grow into the game and we didn't do it well enough. You know, there's so much I could say that it could be negative and could be reposted online. But I'm going to try not to give people the satisfaction. Uh, I mean, we're in the position we are and because we deserve to be. Um, we're lucky to be in Europe and to have gone through a whole season to build up to a night like Thursday night and not perform, Motherwell, that is shameful. But yes, anyway, we still have a second leg to recover, thankfully. We have to go all guns blazing in the second leg, otherwise it's another Scottish disappointment in Europe and we've had far too many of those over the years. We've essentially done a Kilmarnock, 
after they got beat by Koniski and Omats. But, you know, we still have time to recover. Uh, and, yeah, we have to absolutely improve on Thursday night. Anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Take care.